Wow, what a beautiful sunset, Robert. Yep, right on time. Days are getting shorter. Well, it's the winter solstice is coming up. Shortest day of the year. Well, the days are the same length. It's just the day with the least amount of sunlight. Well, I mean, yeah, that's what I meant, of yep. course. <laughs> Here in Los Angeles, the day with the least amount of sunlight is 593 minutes during the winter solstice. Hmm. And the longest day? Uh, 865 minutes during the summer solstice. Wow, Robert, you amaze me. Mm. So the difference between the shortest day and the longest day is 272 minutes. Mm. So that's, that's just over four hours. Wow. I wonder what it's like in the other big cities in the world. That is interesting. We should go find out. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Come on. Cool. According to this almanac, the 25 largest cities are spread all across the world. Now, there are three in North America, New York, Mexico City, and Los Angeles. And Europe and South America have three each as well. And there are two in Africa, Cairo, Egypt, and Lagos, Nigeria. Leaving 14 of the world's largest cities in Asia. Wow, so a typical big city would be in Asia. Yeah, but it doesn't tell us much about the day lengths right. there. We have to dig deeper. OK. So. Tokyo, Japan. Japan. So the right. shortest is 584. Four. Longest is 875. Five. 291 is the difference. Two. New York, New York. We have 555, 905, Five. 350. Paris, 494. 970. Ooh. So that's a difference of 476 minutes. That's almost eight hours. That's, that's almost twice as much as here in Los Angeles. Wow, all right, so we have all this data. Let's find the mean of the data. Right. Okay. Calculator. Okay. Okay, so just uh, give me all the numbers. Okay, 291. Okay. 43. Okay. 311. 167. 44. And 476. 476. All right, and that gives us a mean of 238 minutes. So the average difference between the shortest day and the longest day is about four hours. That means Los Angeles is pretty close to the average. Yeah, but look at all of the data. I mean, it's so spread out. Like Jakarta and Lagos, they're less than an hour different. Well, that's because... Both of those cities are really close to the equator where there's not much difference between summer and winter. Well, what about Moscow, the most northern of all the cities? I mean, look at this. Yeah, so Moscow gets about seven hours of sunlight during the winter, but almost 17 and a half hours of sunlight during the summer. That's more than a 10 and a half hour difference. I mean, that's gotta be an outlier. Yeah, I agree. That's not really typical right. of large cities. So if we take that, out of our mean, that leaves us with uh, 222 minutes. Okay, so Delhi, India is pretty close to the average. Yeah, and that's not much different from here. Huh. I wonder what it all means. Well, it does tell us that most large cities are neither too far away from the equator nor too close, they're in between. It's kind of like Goldilocks. You know, the day's too short, the day's too long, the day's just right. Oh, oh, I wonder what the typical temperature preference is for porridge. All right, so it's getting kind of late, buddy. I'll see you later. Because if you're in, if you're close to the equator, it cooks faster. <laughs> 